Hello, and welcome to Omron's Quick Tip video series. I'm Doug Brown, and today I'll be showing you how to install USB drivers for the CJ2 PLC. The basic hardware configuration is a computer running Omron CX1 software, a USB cable, and a CJ2 PLC. Today I happen to be using a CJ2H-CPU64-EIP. So I've gone ahead and powered up my PLC, connected the USB cable to my computer, and started CX Programmer. First, let's see what happens if I do not install the USB drivers and try to connect to the PLC from CX Programmer. I'll go to PLC, Auto Online, Direct Online, select a USB connection, and click Connect. CX Programmer tries to search for the PLC, but very quickly comes back and says failed to connect to the PLC. This is a good indication that the driver is not installed. So to get the driver properly installed, I need to go to Windows Device Manager. So I'll press the Windows key, type in Device Manager, hit Enter. Here's a list of all the physical devices connected to my computer. And you can see under Other Devices is an Omron PLC with an exclamation mark indicating that the driver has not been properly installed. I will right click on the PLC, select Update Driver Software, tell Windows that I will browse my computer for the driver software myself. And we want to point it to the C colon program files x86, Omron, drivers, USB, and PLC NS directory. You can navigate to that using the browse button. We want to check the include subfolders. So Windows goes, it finds the driver, asks for permission to install. I'll say yes and it goes ahead and starts to install the driver. This can sometimes take a few seconds. So my driver is now installed. Now under Universal Serial Bus Controllers, I see an Omron SysMac PLC device. No exclamation mark, that means it's good. Now if I go back to CX Programmer, Auto Online, USB Connection, Connect, CX Programmer successfully finds and connects to the PLC. And that's how you install USB drivers for an Omron CJ2 PLC. Stay tuned for more quick tip videos from Omron. 